Have you ever gone skydiving? No. I've got no desire to play with death. Have you seen Final Destination? Bad things happen anyway. We need to get you out of the plane. We need to get you in the plane, strapped in, flying out at 18,000 okay, feet. Okay, I might need a couple of shots. I, I fly on a lot of planes. Okay. I just don't want to jump out of them. You basically, you, you went to Cambodia, right? This is how it all started. I did, yes. Actually, I watched a, um, a documentary, a CNN documentary, when I was shooting Breakout Kings, right. um, the first season, and it blew my world apart. It's mind-blowing. It's it mind-blowing. Mind yeah. The numbers, what's happening here in North America, there's right. 100,000 women and children in slavery in North America. Like, how does that happen? I grabbed a backpack, um, booked myself a plane ticket, and I just went out to Cambodia, uh, Malaysia, and Thailand, and just was like, what do you need? How can I help? And originally it was $18,000 they needed for a van and some equipment and some medical supplies and things like that. So I was like, okay, North America's highest skydive is 18,000 feet, which you have to wear an oxygen mask for on the way up. So I sat there and I went, I bet you I could get people to pay me a dollar a foot. After 10 days, we had not only made our 18,000, but we had actually made 38,000. We have groups of people that will be able to hear our message. Right. So let's use our voices. Okay, Serena. Okay, okay, See, okay, now, okay. Is this okay, better? Okay. As opposed to I like will death. jump. I will jump. I will jump. to jump out of a plane at 18,000 feet. All because I couldn't say no to a beautiful girl. Sarinda Swan came in studio and challenged me. I said yes, and now we're it. We'll see what happens. Mum, Dad, I love you. How was it? Well, I keep thinking that people are gonna look terrible when they land, and you look so beautiful still. I feel like my hair is kind of like got the Victoria's Secret thing going on. No, like, the first time in my life I've been speechless, and like, actually, I'm not just saying it to sound like something was amazing, it was, I'm speechless. Man of the hour, Hill Harper. Well, I'm also the man of the hour, because we're both about to jump. Yes, we're in the same plane. You might think this is a scene out of Top Gun sequel, looking at me now, but it's not. No. I'm actually here about to do a real jump because of this woman next to me. You were skydiving virgin as well, like yes. me. Yes, and I mean, bungee jumping, anything. I've never done anything like this. Same outfits, same, same shoes. Yes, same underwear. Same socks. Same socks. We are the same man. That's right. Did you scream a lot? I screamed, but I couldn't hear myself screaming, so I think I, I'm pretty sure I screamed. She took advantage of her beauty and used that upon me to make me jump out of a plane. Not many people could do that. We're juggling with life, Hill. And this is your first jump, or not? I've done it once before. And you've done the 18,000 no, once before? never this high. There was one moment when you're getting ready to, to fall out and you're looking down and it's just tiny houses. I'm kind of really excited for you to use your voice and that like high-pitched girl scream as you plummet. 18,000 feet with over a minute and a half of free fall. I don't have a high-pitched girl scream. I'm very manly. manly. I'll be like, ah. Young Hollywood, I did it. I jumped 18,000 feet. I've made my mark. Yep, Sarinda came to the studio and she challenged me. Bring on the next one. Well